guys okay so i just got done shopping the nordstrom anniversary sale online and i thought i would kind of recap my experience for you if you're somebody who's waiting for your access level to open and you want to know what to expect or if you're just curious i thought i'd tell you about it i also wanted to tell you about the items that i wanted to get that sold out okay so all in all i do think that this sale was structured a lot better than it has been other years there's been prior years where it's just been a complete nightmare to shop this anniversary sale online so if you're unfamiliar the way Nordstrom did it this year and I think this is the first year they've done it this way I could be wrong but they're doing a tiered level entry into the sale so in prior years there's been a select group of people that get like super early access and then after that there's a date for card holders and a date for just the general public so this year what they did is the same thing a tiered structure so a select number of people get like super early access and then if you have a Nordstrom's credit card, instead of letting everybody have access all at once, they have levels within their credit card rewards program. So depending on how much money you spend, you're like a certain level of kind of like the VIB, VIB Rouge system at Sephora or Ulta, you get access earlier and earlier and earlier. So the earliest group of people got access on August 4th. Then after that, it was August 7th. And then today, August 10th, the next section or the next group is August 13th. And then the general public is August 19th. So my shopping date was today, August 10th. But starting on August 4th, I started to look at what was selling out because that was like the first group of people. And a lot of my items... <laughs> My, a lot of my items I wanted sold out that group that time. So before I get into that, I do want to talk a little bit about the wish list system this year. So they released their catalog super early this year, the entire catalog they put online for everybody to see. And that's when I made my wish list videos that I just posted. I made two of them. I will link them down below if you're curious. So I went through the catalog. I spent hours and hours picking it apart, figuring out what I wanted to buy. And you can actually add them to your Nordstrom virtual wish list. The great thing about that is when it's time for you to shop or when your access level opens up, instead of having to go through the catalog, you can just go straight to your wish list, click on it, your size will already be pre-filled, your color selection will already be pre-filled, and you just add it straight to your cart. So you could really quickly go through and like click, 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 add all to cart. It's in your cart and you can check out really quickly. I checked out in like two minutes and I had a lot of items. So their wish list system is really neat. You can also set up notifications for your wish list where if things go out of stock, they'll send you an alert saying, hey, this went out of stock, but it's back in stock now. Hurry up and grab it. It made the whole checking out really, really easily or really, really easy. <laughs> I will also mention that after I filmed my videos, they added more products to the catalog. So there was a few more products that caught my eye that were that I added to my virtual wish list that I haven't really told you guys about. The one last thing I will mention is uh, yesterday. So I knew today was my shopping day, but I didn't know what time the catalog was going to be like open for me to shop. And it's not posted anywhere. It doesn't say anywhere. So I actually went on the Nordstrom website and I did a virtual chat like a customer service chat and I asked them hey what time tomorrow does the um, influencer status open up for shopping and I was informed that it would be 6 30 a.m pacific which is 9 30 a.m my time that's great I was really worried it was going to be midnight and it's hard for me to stay up until midnight I'm just going to be honest <laughs> but there was still a part of me that was like what if it opens up early and I did sporadically check kind of throughout the night and when I woke up in the morning just to see but sure enough I was not allowed to add anything to my cart until exactly 9 30 a.m eastern on the dot okay so i do plan on doing a haul video to actually show you guys all of the products that i purchased but i wanted to quickly mention the stuff that sold out before i was able to buy it so the first group of things is the home goods section it was surprising how quickly that home goods section sold out i was floored i had no idea that home goods were such a big deal at nordstrom so the first thing that sold out nearly immediately so during that first level of access was the wooden bowl so the wooden salad bowl i told you about the wooden serving platter that i told you about also the wooden slash marble like nordstrom brand rectangle um like serving tray like cheese tray also the barefoot dreams plaid blanket the black one is still available at least it was when i was shopping but the cream colored one sold out i think that sold out during the second tier of entry i'm kind of okay with the home goods because i have to remind myself that 
Stuff like that is available at places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, and so for a lot cheaper actually. I was also shocked at how quickly the kids and baby stuff sold out. The one thing on my wish list that we actually need right now is a convertible car seat for Lincoln. Now granted, we don't need the Nordstrom convertible car seat. We could very easily go to Bye Bye Baby, Target, Walmart, and buy one there. But um, the one thing that we needed is a convertible car seat. So the Maxi Cozy is the one that I decided on. I was torn between the Nuna and the Maxi Cozy. The Maxi Cozy is the one that I ended up keeping on my virtual wish list. And I had my eye on that this whole time. It did not sell out, so I was able to grab that one. But a lot of the kids' stuff did sell out fast. I was, again, very shocked at how quickly the kids' stuff sold out. Pretty much anything that is camo is like a hot item. I had no idea. We are really into camo right now, but I thought that was just like an us thing. I didn't realize that was like an everyone thing. So I ended up finding a few camo sweatshirts um, after I had made my wish list video for you guys by the brand Tucker and Tate. I found a baby sized one and a toddler sized one. I had both of them on my wish list. I was ready to buy both of them um, and they both sold out fairly quickly. Also the Joe's brand gray and camo sweatshirt that I told you about completely sold out in every single size. I had also added a few Tucker and Tate long sleeve, just solid colored toddler sized shirts to my wish list. And some of those are still available, but the colors that I want completely sold out. And then the last thing that was kind of shocking is the Easy Peasy brand things. So Easy Peasy had two things in the sale on the catalog. They had this set that was a complete set with the cup, the bowl, and the spoon. That one sold out way early. And in fact, it's completely gone from the website. You can't even, if you have the link available, you can find it. I didn't copy the link quick enough, so I don't have the link to even click or give to you guys. They also had a set with a bib and a like sectional little serving platter. That sold out as of the last access opening up and then it actually became available again last night. I was really happy because I really wanted that kit for Lincoln, that set for Lincoln. So I originally removed it from my wish list because it was sold out. And then this morning when I was like finalizing everything, deciding what I wanted to buy, I noticed that it was back in stock. Both colors were back in stock. So I ended up putting one back on my wish list and I did purchase it. I think lesson learned for all of these things is if you have the link available, like if you find it in somebody's description box or if you saved a link for yourself, keep it on hand because these items go in and out of stock as people are returning things as orders are not processed credit cards are declined things like that um, these things will go in and out of stock and then occasionally the company will just restock them as well and no surprise a lot of the women's clothing sold out before I was able to get to it something that I kind of figured was going to sell out pretty fast was the barefoot dreams lounge set so originally it was just like size small was selling out then size medium was selling out then it was like certain colors and now that's another one of those items that's completely gone from the website I do have the link for that one so I'll put it in my description box in case you want to keep an eye on that but that sold out like hot cakes. Also, the Barefoot Dreams Leopard Carnigan was high on my wish list. I wanted that thing so dang bad. And with the first access level, the size small sold out, but size medium was still available. So I was like, okay, well, I probably should buy size medium anyways. And that stayed available for a while. But as of August 7th, when that level opened up, it completely sold out. It's another one of those items that's not even available on the website to see anymore unless you have the link. So I actually ended up buying alternate leopard sweaters. There wasn't any leopard carnigans available, but I was able to find a leopard sweater by Halogen that I ended up purchasing and then also a leopard tunic by the brand. I didn't write it down. Um, I'm glad I ended up buying that tunic because I wasn't going to buy it um, last minute. I threw it back on my wish list and now it's sold out. So I'm glad that I ended up picking that up. Leopard and camo must just be a thing this year because I also had my eye on the leopard print Adidas. Those sold out pretty dang quickly too. I think the most popular sizes sold out first and then gradually pretty much all of them sold out. There is a few of the very small sizes left like size six. So if you're a size six foot, then you're in luck. I also had my eye on the Nordstrom brand turtleneck. This shocked me that it sold out. I didn't think it was gonna be an item that anybody really wanted, but apparently they did because it completely sold out again in every single size and every single color. I also had a camo t-shirt on my wish list. I found this one after I filmed 
filmed the video. Um, that sold out super quickly. Again, I guess that's not surprising since camo was such a hot thing this year. And then the last women's thing that I mentioned that I wanted that sold out quickly was the Barefoot Dreams. I think they call it their cozy cardigan. It's their longer cardigan. I had the more like dusty mauvey rose color on my wish list. That sold out very quickly within the first or second access level. So I ended up buying the taupe one instead, like the heathered taupe, and now the heathered taupe one is gone. So I have a feeling that particular carnigan is going to sell out pretty quickly. It's interesting because in years prior, the circle carnigan was the big hit, um, but I guess this year people, maybe everyone already has a circle carnigan, so everyone's trying to find different carnigans. Okay, the last thing I want to tell you guys about that I actually did get my hands on but is now sold out, there's a handful of things. So the first one is that Barefoot Dreams carnigan that I told you about. Also, that easy peasy bib and platter set is now sold out again, but that is one that did restock. So if you really have your heart set on that, keep an eye out because I have a feeling they'll restock it again. The leopard tunic I told you about is sold out. Also last minute, I added a Chelsea 28 turtleneck to my wish list and I ended up buying it. I really like that brand Chelsea 28. They have really cute, just like girly things. This was an item that wasn't in the catalog originally and they added it a little bit later. I'm glad I picked it up because now it's sold out. And then the last thing that I purchased that's currently sold out is BP PJ shorts. I've been on the hunt for just solid black PJ shorts. I know that seems like such a simple thing to find, but it's actually kind of difficult to find them at a reasonable price. Um, so I ended up buying the BP ones. I don't know that I've ever owned anything by BP. I've heard that their quality is a little lackluster, so we'll have to see. The good news is the makeup and beauty part of the catalog is not selling out very quickly. The only thing that I noticed that was on my wish list that was gone is the dry bar, dry shampoo. I wasn't able to grab that. Kind of a bummer because I wanted to get it for my mom for Christmas and now it's gone. Also, I guess there's two things. So I talked about the makeup eraser little individual washcloth set. There was another brand called Wellby that had something very similar and I was kind of toggling between the two. Um, I ended up settling on the makeup eraser one and I deleted the Wellby one from my wish list, but now the Wellby one is out of stock. That actually went out of stock very quickly as well, um, like within the first round of people getting access. So I'm glad that I had my heart set on the makeup eraser ones and not the Wellby ones because those ended up selling out. Everything else is still available. So all the Charlotte Tilbury and the hair care and skincare, all the super goop stuff is still available. All right, guys, any of the products that I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna link down below for you so that you can have easy access, quick links for for you to access. Um, if you're curious about some of the other stuff on my wish list or recommendations videos, I will also link those videos in my description box so you can easily access them. But yeah, if you have access starting on the 13th or public access on the 19th, happy shopping, good luck. Stay tuned for my haul video that I'm gonna try to get up as soon as I get those products in the mail. And yeah, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys next time, bye.